This is AACPS Digest with Monika Monk. Hello, I'm Monika Monk. Welcome to the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Digest, bringing you news about the people and programs of Anne Arundel County Public Schools. More than 100 students from a few county high schools recently learned some valuable life lessons while witnessing actual criminal court cases as part of the schools and court program sponsored by the District Court of Maryland. Hosted by Judge Shame Spencer, students get a better understanding of how the state's justice system works and the consequences of making poor choices. As you leave here today, I hope that you walk away with something that moved you, touched you, made you think. Maybe something moved you, inspired you to do something. Be a defense lawyer, be a prosecutor, be law enforcement, be an EMT or a firefighter, be a nurse in the ER. Maybe you want to be a court administrator. Maybe you want to be a lawyer. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, do it. Dream. Push. The students heard testimony from defendants and victims of drunken driving accidents, drug abuse, and speeding and distracted driving cases, and watched Judge Spencer sentence people for their indiscretions. The schools and court program began in 2000 and is presented biannually for county high school students. Hundreds of business and community partners recently gathered to further the relationships that have positively impacted students at the annual networking breakfast with the superintendent event. So important to have the all avenues of the community involved. It enriches our schools, it enriches our businesses, and so we couldn't do half of what we do if we didn't have the partnerships with our community members. And they really expand our connections with people. I was just talking to a Johns Hopkins um, worker and they said that they would help me get an internship and I was working with one of the signature programs and now I volunteer at Anne Arundel Medical Center. So ultimately it leads you to know what you want to do in the future and just like kind of clear your path. Through speakers and an eloquent student panel, the guests were able to hear firsthand accounts of the importance of providing student internships. I think the partners create greater opportunities for our kids to apply what they're learning in the classroom to the real world. We bring them in as guest speakers. Uh, we go out into the community for job shadows so they can actually see them in action. We uh, coordinate internships with them. They come in to mentor with our students as they're working on projects. These relationships have proven to be not only natural, but also necessary. At m and Bank, you know, we know that we're only as good as the community that we operate in are, and the school system is just a huge, huge part of that. And what they do for our kids and our future workforce is invaluable. Having an opportunity for things like uh, internships while they're in school and, and really, and, and there, I mean, a lot of the value can be not only finding out what they do like, but finding out what they don't like. And, you know, it's, it's one thing to uh, think about a career option in theory. It's another thing to experience it in reality. And that, I think that's a big way that uh, the, the business sector and the school system can partner with one another. The Networking Breakfast is one of many events sponsored by the 21st Century Education Foundation in support of the school system's goals. For the seventh consecutive year and ninth time overall, the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Purchasing Office has once again been recognized among the nation's elite in its commitment to sound business practices by earning the 2018 Achievement of Excellence in Procurement Award. One of the focuses of our, our, of our group is how to make things better for our schools, for our teachers, and for our students. Through exemplary practice of innovation, professionalism, productivity, e-procurement, and leadership, the office is primed to continue achieving. Having a third party validate what we do, uh, we have such wonderful support from Dr. Arlotto and from Alex Shaknovich and, and Matt Stansky, but having that, that third party of experts validate what we do uh, every day is, is a, definitely a source of pride, and we strive every year to try to do a little bit better and be, uh, be uh, worthy of those, that award. So um, I think that's why it means so much to us. It kind of validates what we do, the work we do uh, day in and day out every day. There's a, there's a hero in each and every single one of you. And to really believe that and to believe in yourself and to be proud of yourself and to tackle what your dreams and desires are in life. As part of an historical effort where Annapolis was the recent host of the 2018 Medal of Honor Convention, many of its heroes visited 20 secondary schools across the county to share their experiences and inspire our young people. I, I think the uh, children today have challenges 
that we didn't face 20, 30 years ago with the advent of social media and uh, instantaneous access to information. So uh, the, the six character traits of the medal, sacrifice and integrity, patriotism, courage, commitment, and citizenship can play to a, a lot of these things that they're dealing with, and particularly the, the citizenship aspect of just being a good person to one another, to look to your left and your right and know that there's probably somebody that's going through some difficulties that you have, you just need to say hello and get to know somebody that you might not have otherwise known. And when you become a recipient, uh, it, it holds a very unique uh, value to it. There's six characteristic traits that this medal here represents. And if you meet any other rep, uh, Medal of Honor recipient, they'll tell you the exact same thing I would say is that we, this isn't our medal, we are just the holders of it. And in my case, it's the holders of a, of a teammate and a, a friend of mine, Nicholas Check, who was killed on that operation for which we rescued an, an American doctor. For me, that's, this is his because he's no longer here and he paid that ultimate sacrifice. In sharing the six traits that the Medal of Honor recipients possess, Byers helped to show a group of students at Lindale Middle School that they too already have many of those traits. He came out here today and he showed his cards. He told us, this is my life, this is what I did. I did this for our nation and I was very inspired by that. So I thought, if he has the courage to do something, why can't I? As if their bravery was not enough, the heroes left indelible marks on county students. I thought it was really nice and moving because he made a lot of very good points about many things and he helped a lot of people when they mentioned their problems. He seemed to be very nice about answering their problems. I'm also going to become a better citizen. I'm going to help people in need and I'm definitely going to, um, you know, be who the nation wants their people to be and just be friendly and kind to everyone out there. Culinary students from the Center of Applied Technology South are cooking up a new venture. Two, three, cutting. <laughs> Celebrating a ribbon cutting of the student-run cafe at Maryland Hall. These students actually get to manage and staff this restaurant. They get to plan for the food, cost it, they get to plan for waste, they get to plan for the customers. Their planning really matters because at Cat South they learn those skills and they learn their wonderful baking and, and culinary skills. And then it comes here and they have to see how it works when you have real customers who are paying customers. And it's a lot different than being just an employee in a restaurant. This is their restaurant. From food preparation to every business aspect of the operation, students will be even more prepared to pursue careers in the food industry. They've already learned that running a business is not always easy. It's quite exciting to have the cafe open. It's really relieving as well because there have been all this like preparation, all the preparation going into it has been, um, well, exciting, yes, but also a little bit stressful. Under the guidance of teacher and chef Pam Klink, the cafe is off to a grand start. Thank you for watching Anne Arundel County Public Schools Digest on AACPS TV. Hi, I'm Jeannie Porter. Anne Arundel County Public Schools Department of Transportation is raising the level of awareness for the safety of your children as we transport them to and from school. When a school bus stops to load students, as a driver, this is what you will see. At 150 feet, the bus will activate hazard lights. At 100 feet, the bus driver will activate the amber lights. They will start slowing down. At 10 feet before the bus stops, they will turn on the red bus lights. 
their stop sign will come out and students will begin to load. Once all students are on board safely, the bus driver will turn off red lights and move forward. At this time, it is safe for the motorist to resume movement. Anne Arundel County Public Schools has two centers of applied technology, Cat North and Cat South. Students who attend one of the seven high schools in the northern part of the county would attend Cat North, and students who attend one of the five high schools in the southern part of the county would attend Cat South. Both centers offer innovative hands-on programs that provide students with industry certifications, college credit, and apprenticeship credits. I chose to come to Cat North because this offers a more in-depth field. This is more hands-on, you get more work done, it looks better with colleges, it looks better on a resume, you get more opportunities. We get the same credits for being here that we would get in high school, but these are fun credits. You can read about anything and you can think that you know more about it, but until you actually do it, it's a completely different experience. I've been learning about nutrition since I was in sixth grade and I've never understood it more than until I've walked in this kitchen. It pushed me to like look forward more in my future to like give me more motivation like saying you know you can do it. Students come to Cat South and they understand the small classes, they understand one-on-one um, -on -one instruction, they understand hands-on activities. I get more attention from the teacher because this is a smaller classroom and I can be interacted with and if I have a question I can get direct assistance from my teacher at all times. The most rewarding thing being a teacher is the fact that um, I can instill a lot of pride in the hearts of the students for a job well done. They're learning academics in a, in a small classroom setting that are going to prepare them for their future. The purpose of education is to create citizens that are productive in the workforce. Cat North provides students with a unique opportunity with the hands-on learning styles, state-of-the-art equipment, the more uh, personalized and smaller classes and the opportunity to really not just learn about a trade but actually to learn the trade itself. Cat South will allow me to advance to take my state board test so that I can become licensed as a cosmetologist. Now I know exactly what I want to do and Cat North pretty much just like guided me in the right path. I can work my way through college doing this and it's a great opportunity to learn things. They really really look forward to leaving our program with certification in the career path that they've chosen. The partnership that we have with Anne Arundel Community College in which they can earn college credits that are proficiency credits is also a great opportunity. Our business partners are the people that actually drive our programs. They keep us abreast of what's happening in the industry, uh, what the standards are, and making sure that we do see our standards uh, coming through through our students. We found that hiring from, from the program, we get a better, better employee that wants to stay here they grow with us, we grow with them, and the benefit is mutual. I already have a job opportunity out in the field, and it's really a great reward you get out from this program. It's a great learning experience. You know, if you want to take what you've learned here and go on to any tech school, you have a lot of you know, basic knowledge. You get certifications, and that'll help me with jobs, you know, pursue my career as an automotive technician. It's preparing me for real work when I get out of high school. It's real world industry experience that you just can't get anywhere else and it really prepares you for the outside world and for post-secondary school. I'll be closer to um, being able to get a job and getting into a career. When I graduate, I will be more college and career ready. The only thing I'm going to regret is when they have to kick me out of the door in this place. Centers of Applied Technology are where students can turn passions into professions. For more information, feel free to contact us by phone or visit our website.